You're in a predicament right now. Oh man, lighten up this other. Oh, can we take him down? Ooh, he got this one last thing. We're gonna have to go off, you off, light. Come on, baby. Hit him with those shots. Burn him up. Titan Slayer. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the secrets I use in how to upgrade pilots and get a little bit of a discount. First of all, I waited until there was a pilot event, which is there is one active currently right now. You get 10% off of promoting pilots and upgrading pilots. So this is when I try to do all my pilot upgrades if and when possible. So I'm just gonna keep um, upgrading as you guys see. I kind of know which skills I want because I've up, uh, upgraded three uh, revenants in the past and I have uh, tested all their skills out so I know what I'm looking for. So in the beginning, um, I'll just keep spinning because it's much cheaper in the earlier rounds to spin to get what you want. As you can see right now, it's only 75 gold. So I'm gonna keep spinning until it lands on something valuable and a skill that I actually do want. And if I'm really lucky, maybe I can get a blue, purple, or gold tier, which would be amazing. Right there, we got the Death Survivor, which I wanted. Now we're gonna go ahead and promote and continue to go on. Dodger, that's a good one. I'm actually gonna keep that one. So we're just gonna continue on upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. You guys can notice the amount of gold I started with and then we'll take note um, where we finish at as well. Pilots are a very, very important part of the game. If you guys want, I can start breaking it down and doing some more um, basic guides and tutorials um, on the game. I know we have a lot of new subscribers and a lot of them are new players to the game and or lower level players. So I wanna help educate them and get them up to Champion League as quick as possible so they can join in the fun. Okay, now we have another skill that we want, Tough Guy, which is very, very good. So we're going to continue on to promote. Now this one here, Adamant Mechanic, I don't necessarily want this one. Um, so it's 200 right now, so it's still safe to continue to spin um, because it's, it would be much cheaper than to just select the uh, skill outright. So we're going to try uh, spinning a couple times to see what we get out of it. Hopefully we get something useful this time. Okay, Raider Mechanic, that's not a good one. I'm going to spin again. One more time, Adam and Roadhog, not really, we're going to keep on going. Nope, Adam and Guardian, I just want to share my thought process so you guys understand. It's one thing to see what I'm doing, but it's another to understand and know why I'm doing it. So you guys could uh, replicate and do the exact same and think the exact same. Okay, next, Gunsmith, nope, we don't need that one. See, now it's starting to get to the point where... I kind of would have been better off just selecting my own, but boom, we're going to select this one. Roadhog, that's a good one. So now we have two more skills we're going to go after. You still have to get Armor Expert and Foolhardy Quartermaster. So those are our next two goals in that order specifically. As you can see, we have a decently leveled pilot right now. And we've only spent about 9,000 gold thus far. Um, not too bad. So guys, you know, that's why I say save your gold. Gold is very important. When you're very low levels, you need to unlock the five robot slots. This is the main priority. And then later on in the game, you save your gold um, for your pilots. Now pilots are going to give you um, a great advantage in that battlefield. Pilots and drones and drone trips specifically are the things that are going to take um, an averagely powered hanger until a very strong powered hanger. Okay, we don't want this. Even though this is a gold tier 4 skill, we don't want it. Um, I'm looking at my different choices right now because I'm trying to debate if it was worth it to continue to spinning and it wasn't because the spins were very expensive there. So I just went and outright bought that skill which made it much, much cheaper in the long run. So now we're going to go ahead and this is my final, final tip and this is very important. Always save Foolhardy Quartermaster for your last pilot skill. Now, why do you say that? Oh my gosh, we got so lucky and got it on the spin. That's crazy. Okay, so why I say to do this is tier doesn't matter. So it could be gray, blue, purple, or gold, and you're going to get the same exact functionality out of it. 
also it, it's not affected by level like other ones are so like mechanic for example the, the amount it heals is very tiny at level 61 and it will be at its max at level 70 but the full hearty quartermaster you get the the maximum potential possible it's not affected by tier or um or level so you get the full full benefit at level 61 gray and that's all you need you don't need any higher rarity so that's why i saved that that saves um, a lot of gold in the end and um, you don't have to worry about that so now i'm selecting the skills um, that i want to upgrade i'm upgrading them all to tier four and as you guys can see boom we are done initial starting goal was 189,420 we ended up at 155,915 which means it cost 33,505 gold to max this pilot out which is really good before I learned these little tricks and tactics it would take anywhere from 50 to 65,000 gold um, to max out a pilot when I didn't know these little tricks and secrets these are things that I've learned over my experience of playing this game I just want to share my experience with you guys in the hopes that it could help you save gold and learn how to uh, manage your gold and become a stronger overall player in general. Okay, so now we're going to search for that Adrian Chong pilot to remove. Um, I highly recommend if you guys don't have the pilot you really want for a robot and you want to play it using Adrian Chong pilot. The reason I say that is after you actually do get the pilot you do want, now you have a pilot that you can transfer to another robot and um, you can get a big huge jump and it's much cheaper to retrain than it is to upgrade a pilot from scratch so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna retrain all of these skills we're gonna take note of the amount of gold we start with and then the amount of gold at the end and see exactly how much it costs to uh, retrain a pilot and max out those skills just like we did with the first one okay now I'm making my decisions whether I want it now you guys could see it's much more expensive to um, spin for skills once you have the pilot maxed out. Now they're 500 per skin. In the beginning, with the previous pilot, each time you promoted to the next level, um, it got more and more expensive. Now we're at the height of um, the cost, which is 500 gold to respin. So you really need to be mindful of what you're spinning and how many because it can get out of control very, very quick. We got our first pilot skill that we want, which is Roadhog. This one here, Adam Mechanic, I'm deciding if I should accept it or continue on moving. Most of the times when I'm re-spinning like this, I will accept a skill that I don't necessarily want because I don't want the cost of gold to get out of hand. So I just accept that for now and I could always be changed at a later date. The most important thing is getting these tr skills transferred over so they're helping my Leo pilot now. Okay, Gunsmith for the Hell, that's not particularly a great skill. Um, so we're going to take a gamble and spin one more time. We get the Quartermaster Leo there. Not really crazy about Quartermaster either. Dodger, although on the other hand, is a great one. So I will select this one. So as you can see, sometimes I continue to spin, sometimes I don't. And that time it paid off because it actually got a Tier 3 Purple Rarity of a skill that I actually would go after. So it definitely did help and save me some gold that time, most definitely. Okay, ooh, Cautious Pilot. You know what? I think I'm gonna select this one. I like this one, I'm the Revenant. Um, if I decide not to like it, I could always change it at a later date. But you know what? I think this is a good spin, guys. We're gonna keep this one for right now. Okay, we're gonna move on. We only have two more skills we need to get. Mm -mm -mm. oh man we get foolhardy quartermaster and you guys would think oh man that's a purple rarity keep that um i don't think i'm going to i'm going to save foolhardy for the last one even though it's not as important to um save foolhardy for the last one when you're respinning um it's more important to do it when you're upgrading a pilot from scratch but i still think i'll try for something different this time we get the raider gunsmith we'll select that we're going to go down here and instead of even spinning and wasting any gold, we're going to go straight for it and purchase that. So now we have our foolhardy last. And now we're going to go through and upgrade and change skills that I'm not liking too much. Okay, so this Raider Gunsmith, I think we're going to swap this out for Armor Expert. So there, boom, we go in. 
we're going to select another skill that we want to change um, it's going to be the adamant mechanic I'm not really fond of that and I don't think that's going to benefit us all that much with this robot so I'm trying to search and think what is a good option and I'm really coming up short but the only thing that jumps out to me is the modules expert um, I like this skill especially when you're using things like paralysis um, Persephone beak nebula things with that healing you get about an extra second or so of healing and um, in situations that could be very very advantageous still haven't made up my mind I'm really weighing my options here because I'm like should I waste the gold or should I not um, although I do have a lot of gold guys I tend to be very very cautious with it but this time I selected mechanic and for the simple reason is this robot only has one module slot so it needs all the help it can get. Um, I'm going to be using the healing for either offense or defense. But in the meantime, when I don't have that active module available, I want to have that passive healing in the background. So that's the reason why I selected that skill at this particular time. It may not be the best option in the long run, but I didn't want to spend too much time overthinking it because I can always change it to later date. And what I really do love about this game is to test and tinker with different skills, different builds, different drone setups, things like that. So I'm really not bothered by it too much. As long as we have the basic ones, the most important ones, um, Roadhog, Armor Expert, Dodger, Foolhardy Quartermaster, things like that. Everything else is kind of just like a bonus. Okay, so now this one, Adamant Roadhog. Um, this is a slow robot. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna try to take advantage of this. You get 32% um, extra speed, which is very, very nice. And that is gonna be it for upgrading the pilots. Now I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of uh, that new Revenant in action to see how it plays out. So 28,750 gold is what it took to retrain and max out all of those uh, pilot skills. Um, you could do it without maxing it out and just swapping the pilot skills for only a few thousand gold. Um, so it wouldn't be a huge, huge thing. It would take 500 gold um, times the amount of skills you have. So that would come out to 3,500 gold um, just to spin. And whatever they land on, they land on. And you can keep it in play as that. You don't have to go as far as I did with maxing them all out. Um, you could just retrain and then you could adjust them one by one to make it much, much more affordable. Um, but I'm just showing you guys the high end of it and then you guys could see with your own eyes what it would cost to do, you know, minimal. But I wanted to give you guys the uh, best case or worst case scenario, whatever, you know, opinion you have about the matter. Um, it is a bit costly at times, so that's why I try to be very, very smart and very, very cautious with the way I use my gold and where I use my gold. These guys are playing very, very clever on this right hand side over here. They are locking me down and making it very difficult for me to push up in advance. I found my opening now and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. I think he ran out of his abilities, which will probably regain another one any second. Boom, there it goes. But I do know he's probably low on abilities right now, so I'm gonna have to go in for the kill. Unfortunately, I'm not able to go around the corner because this Aljun is lighting us up. So we're trying to dodge and evade most of his shots in which we were successful in doing that, which is very, very nice. All right. That Orochi Skidochi is out of the equation. Ooh, that guy almost got me to last stand. Let's see if we can peek around the corner and take this Aljun down before he gets another flight. Boom! We get the double kill. Very, very good. All right, baby. Oh, man, we got another June. Did I start an out June trend? Oh, my God, there's another out June. I've been playing the out June for the past couple weeks, and I've been posting a lot about it. I've been streaming a lot with it. I've been talking it up a ton. And you know what, guys? It's a great robot. I'm so happy to see it back on the battlefield. It's not super meta OP. Um, it's fun. It's very satisfying to get kills with. It's not easy to play. It's not easy to get kills with. So when you do get those kills, it is very, very satisfying. Ooh, we are on a triple kill. Oh my gosh, we melted that shell down quick. Let me see if we can finish him off. Oh my gosh, that Orochi Skidochi stole our kill. Jeez, Louise Papa Cheese. Oh man, this hawk is lighting us up. Let's try to get behind this cover. We only got two weapons left, but I'm just messing around. Um, I put a different skill on this robot. I put a different, some different skills on a lot of these robots. So I'm going to try to just play them kind of 
I don't know if this makes any sense, but I'm not going to play them very smartly. I want to push their limits and see what they're capable of, so I'm going to get myself intentionally into some bad, bad situations. Alright, boom, we get the kill. Very, very good. Let's try to take this dude out. We're blasting, we're blasting. We're going to throw our shield up for a second. Let's see if we can finish him off. Very nice, we get the double kill. This guy's all the way in the corner. I don't want to jump over there because they spawn more on this side. So if I chase them off in that corner and some Titans spawn in, they can corner me and light me up. So I'm going to try to be a little, little cautious in this situation. All right, we're jumping on over. Oh, we got the big smash on him. He's taking a ton of damage right now. He's got a Fafnir above him lighting him up as well. We're burning, burning him with the cinders around the corner, and he's walking right into these shotgun shots. We're trying to take him down. We almost got him. Boom, we get the triple kill. Very, very nice. Okay, this guy's lighting me up with these vipers. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And Arturo just spawned in. Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. Okay, we're going to jump up to try to take advantage of that shield. And the... Oh, my gosh, and he was able to take us out. We were very, very low on health, man. But as you guys can see, and I talked about before, an Arthur with shotguns is could be a very, very good, um, effective counter against luchadors if it's spawned in at the proper time, meaning right when the luchador depletes his energy shield, his reflective shield. That's when it's most vulnerable and he cannot defend himself. Okay, now we have our new Revenant pilot, Medea, and I just want to test out the lethality of this bot. Um, now that we have that additional damage, um, it's 15% with the Medea, 5% with Adrian. So we have an additional 10% damage boost that we did not have before. So I'm just trying to get into this brawling scenario to see how long and how much damage we could do here. We got this shell, which I'm going to focus on for a second because I know we could take him out quick, fast, and in a hurry. And that's exactly what we're doing. But we are getting targeted by a whole bunch of other robots and titans over here right now. We are in a bad, bad position. I'm trying to back out of the way to only expose myself to one of them at a time so I don't get focus fired by three of them. That's how you get taken out very, very quickly. We're, we got killed, but we did a bunch of damage while we're in there. Now it's time to drop in with our Ow June, the good old June, 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 June. I love this bot, man. It is a ton, ton, ton of fun. And I'm so glad I saved this for a little bit later when the Titans come out because this thing could do a ton of damage against them. All right, we got this Minos pushing up over here. We're going to try to hit him with these punchers and lock him down. Oh, man, does he got Titan anti-control on? Jeez, Louise, Papa Cheese. All right, baby, this is our time to shine. Let's light up this big Arturo. Oh, we're getting some good damage on him, but that Nodens is pumping him full of healing charges. We got him down very, very low, which is nice. But let's see if we can finish off the kill. Oh, man, this guy's got his reflector shield back. Let's see if we can go back over here and finish this Arthur off. Get him close range so we get all of our shots to hit. Oh, baby, baby. We're going to go up into flight and try to get out of that 100 before he blasts us. Lighten him up. Boom, 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 boom. Titan Slayer. Oh, yeah, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. Doing some big damage on this Nodens as well. This thing is a lethal, lethal build, ladies and gentlemen. And it is so much fun to play. We're moving in with the Orochi Skidochi. Um, I'm trying something different out on here as well. So I'm just going to try to stand in this guy's face and see how long I can brawl with him. Um, I know this isn't the smartest thing to do, but I'm just curious um, with this current drone setup I'm using, if it's going to help me at all. Alright, let's see if we can finish him off. Oh man, we're going to run out of ammo. Alright, we're going to try to back on up, back on up. Use this time to build our ammunition up oh he healed up a little bit more we're not going to have enough firepower to take him out oh man teammate steals the kill jeez louise papa cheese uh we're going to do the same thing with this fenrir uh, we're going to just stay in his face and try to brawl with him as long as possible um usually you don't want to do that with such a squishy robot like the orochi um but like i said i'm just testing something out right now just a little curious Ooh. Oh man, that hawk's lighting us up from the right right there. Boom, he takes us out. It is all good. All right, baby, we are on to our last robot. We got the hawk. We got the spaghetti hawk coming in with the hell snare. This Al Ming over here is looking at us funny. And we're about to take him out like he owes us some money. Come on, baby. 
Oh man, look at him going down. Jeez, we are lighting him up, up, up. Boom, Titan Slayer. Oh man, that was a good kill. Very satisfying. He got laser, laser, laser down. I did not expect these two guys to spawn in right there. This is no bueno, man. Oh, we are in a bad, bad spot, and this is our last robot. We got to play this smart. All right, we got him down to last stand. Let's see if we can get him down to last stand, too. We're going to go into flight to save ourselves because they got three people out here, and I am not trying to die. Oh, my gosh. They're getting us down so low. Oh, no, 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 no. Trying to get to this cover. Oh, my gosh. Can we stay alive? Can we stay alive? We hit that healing to keep us alive for a second, but are we going to be able to get behind the cover? Oh, can we finish this kill off? We're going to sneak back out. Come on, baby. Hit him with a couple sneaky little shots. All right, wait till that purple shield goes away. Okay, now it is. Oh, this Aljun. We got to be very careful, man. Very, very careful. Boom, we get the Aljun. Can we get this guy as well? Oh, man, they put that healing. That, oh, my gosh. They tried to hit me with that Marnark drone. I had to get out of there. That would have taken me out for certain. We are lighting this dude up right now. We're trying to drop in, but I don't want to get too close and risk it for the biscuit. I want to stay alive. I don't want to get killed right here. So we're trying to come around the corner and wait for this critical, critical opening. Is he going to step out? Come on, baby. Let's see if we can sneak up on this dude and take him down. Oh, he used his purple shield. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. All right, I got to walk to the right so I don't get hit with his ability. All right, boom, 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 boom. Oh, man, the teammate got him, but we stood alive. Oh, my gosh, what an exciting, exciting match down to the last 30 seconds. I thought they had us there, man. I thought that game got away from us. Shout out to the teammates, man. What a game. Oh, man. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see what we're working with here. All right. Oh, my gosh, 10.5 million damage, 11 kills. We didn't even have a Fafnir in there. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.